Brodian creator of the coast. You know, coast of God and he has Venus is gas and coast. This joy and reputation. Welcome, folks, to the Adams administration. Jefferson's the runner up, which makes him the vice president. Washington can't help you now no more, Mr. Nice President. Adams fires Hamilton, privately calls him Queen Bastard in his cause. Hamilton publishes his response. An open letter to the fat, arrogant, anti-charismatic, national embarrassment known as President John Adams. Shit. The man's irrational, he claims that I'm in league with Britain in some vast international intrigue. Bitch, please, you wouldn't know what I'm doing. You're always going berserk, but you never show up to work. Give my regards to Abigail next time you write about my lack of moral compass. At least I do my job up in this rumpus. The line is behind me, I cost it again. Well, the president lost it again. Oh, such a rough life. Better run to your wife, you're the bosses in Boston again. Let me ask you a question. Who sits at your desk when you're in Massachusetts? You were calling you a dick back in 76, and you haven't done anything new since. New since, with no sense. Who will die of irrelevance. Go ahead, you can call me the devil. You spot him, I love you. You spot him, malevolence. Say hi to the Jeffersons and the spies all around me. Maybe they can confirm. I don't care if I kill my career with this letter. I'm confining you to one term. You fat mother... Hamilton's out of control. This is where he's out of power. He holds no office and he just destroyed President John Adams, the only other significant member of his party. Hamilton is a host unto himself. As long as he can hold a pen, he's a threat. Let's let him know what we know.